Welcome to a Great River Energy Virtual Reality Procedural Training Series. In this virtual reality module we are going to review and perform uncoupling of the Cleveland Price Motor Operator. Select and put on PPE for a given hazard risk category, including Class 2 rubber gloves, eye, head and face protection, and flame-resistant clothing. Verify switch identification number. Before any switching operation is attempted, which would include uncoupling or recoupling of a motor operator, qualified switching personnel must verify the switch position via three-part communication with the GRE system operator. I am standing by for clearance order CO7403, revision 1, waiting on instruction for operation step number 1. I understand you are standing by for clearance order CO7403, revision 1, step 1. That is correct. Check DFSM2MOD at summit tap open at the device, uncouple, lock, and attach hold card. I understand I can check DFSM2MOD at summit tap open at the device, uncouple, lock and attach hold card. That is correct. Call me back when completed. Thanks. Verify all three blades are fully open. Verify bonding to switch drive pipe, mod cabinet and ground mat platform is intact. If bonding has been compromised, please contact the GRE system operator. Use your GRE key to unlock the bucket bracket. Swing the bracket outward. Move the bucket upwards. Remove lock from the coupling device. Use your GRE key to open the motor operator cabinet. The operating bar for the switch is mounted inside the cabinet and held in by a bracket. Release the bracket and pull out the operating bar. Notice a switch behind the operating bar, which deactivates the motor from operating when the bar removed for uncoupling or recoupling, or the manual operation of the switch. Next thing you want to do is mate up the operating bar to the coupling device. There is a notch in the end of the bar and the dowel fitting inside the coupling bracket. Install the bar. Remove the pin and move the bar upwards to align the holes on the bar with the holes on the bracket. Put the pin back into its place. Pull the operating bar downward. The compression cone come free, which releases the motor mechanical bracket below from the switch drive pipe bracket. Now remove the pin to release and remove the operating bar. Reinsert the pin and move the bracket upward. When reinstalling the pin, be sure the cable, attached to pin, is positioned in front of the cone stem. Reinstall lock onto the coupling device.
After the bracket has been lifted upward it is important to secure the loose switch from blowing close in the wind or accidentally coming closed while uncoupled. Move outside bracket over on top of the coupling bracket and install a lock and a tag. Secure the operating bar inside the cabinet, and lock the cabinet. Great. We are now properly uncoupled, locked and switch secured. Call the system operator to report back. I checked DFSM2 MOD at Summit Tap open at the device, uncoupled it, locked it and attached a hold card. I understand you checked DFSM2 MOD at Summit Tap open at the device, uncoupled, locked and attached a hold card. That is correct. Thank you.